good morning so it is 10 30. i've been up but i've been laying in bed because i'm just so cold and i was so cold last night i looked at my um temperature in the house 38 degrees so i'm standing in front of my heater until i warm up a little bit i need to put sweats on sorry i'm just like a hot mess right now but I have to look at, I called my mom to ask her if she can call the propane people so they can come and put propane in my tank. And they're going to be so busy. So hopefully they don't take a week because I think one is at 50 and one is at 25. Um, but I can, I want, it's October 30th. I wanted to wait until November 1st um, to turn on my heater but I can't last night. I was just so cold. Like I did not sleep good at all. So I have to vacuum all my like heater ducts, I guess is what they're called to get anything that's like dirt and stuff. And I'm turning on my heater because I'm cold. I'm sure my animals are cold. Like my cat, well, she, he, um, cuddled under the blankets for about five seconds and then I don't know what happened because he was just laying there and he was purring and he was content and then he wanted out and I'm like what happened you're you're content but you know he's a tough cat so um so it was just me and Milo under the blankets and I was I'm just so cold and I have two comforters two blankets and then I have my sheet and then I have another blanket under that sheet because that sheet or that blanket is just so warm and I need to find, I don't know if it's plush or there's another name that I'm thinking of, but I need those sheets in my life. Like this winter, I am getting those sheets because that blanket just keeps me so warm and I just want warm. I just want to be warm this winter. I, I don't want to deal with the cold. So I need to, let me set you right here. I have brushed my teeth, washed my face. Cause you put clothes on. And then I need to do my heater stuff. And then I need to clean Max's litter box because I didn't do that last night or yesterday and I feel really bad for him. But I'm going to take it all out and like put fresh um, litter in it. So he's going to get a whole new litter box today. All right, I'm going to get dressed, do something with his hair because it's crazy. I'm sorry that I um, scared you like this, but we're going to get going. We have heat. It feels so good, like, oh my gosh. Doesn't it feel so good? Now it's 44 degrees, so it's warming up, but we were in dire need of heat, huh? So it does stink a little bit because it needs to burn off whatever. I vacuumed. The only thing is, is the vacuum that came with the trailer, it wasn't suctioning, so I bet I had to change the bag. I just didn't want to, so I used my vacuum cleaner. The only thing about my vacuum cleaner is it just, it's a tube, so I can't really maneuver it easy. And I wanted to like get in, you know? And then, um, so I just took my vacuum cleaner little tube off and I put the other vacuum cleaner on it, but I had to hold it because it didn't fit that well. But I think it worked pretty well. So we're just gonna warm up. My mom called the propane people, but I just couldn't. Like I could not wait two more days, especially at night. It was freezing, huh? So I need to, um, I need to clean my house. But right now I'm going to, thank you, you're okay, thank you. But I'm going to do Max's litter box first. And then what do you guys keep your like house at? 
do you keep it really high, like 70, 75? Or do you keep it like low? And what do I do with like temperature with my dog? So my mom says, she, so at night we do 60. And then she says during the day when I'm not here, do 65. And yeah. So I don't know. So I, I kind of just want to try this year just 65. And hopefully I don't have to get propane. So we're getting propane this now. And then I think in last year I had to do it November and then February. So that's only two months. And propane's $500 each time. And then I think I did it again in April. So I think I did it three times. That's $1,500. Oh my gosh. So I need to... I'm going to just keep... The, my house at 65 just bundle up if my animals get cold then I'll turn it up but I feel like last year they were fine and then I, if I get cold I'm just gonna either put more layers on or just use my heater that's what I bought it for so we're gonna see how well that lasts because the only the only things I use my heater for is like my heat and then my shower. I don't use my oven and I don't use my stove which those are propane based. So I don't use any of that. And I don't feel like, well this trailer does not like keep the heat in that well. So I feel like it's a lot of heat wasted. I need to do something with this hair. I have a pimple right here. I'm just, I have the worst migraine. I had it since yesterday. I've gone to my doctor about it. I've gone to my eye doctor about it and it just hurts. I just, they, I did have to get an MRI for my last eye surgery since I was an adult and my eyes started turning in and like I didn't get hit or anything. So they said that was kind of weird. So I got an MRI done to make sure that like, nothing was pushing on my like eyes. And there wasn't, but there was like a, I don't know the name for it, but it's pretty much a little tumor um, on the left side over here somewhere. So that dude's just hanging out, but my head, my migraine is right here. Well, it's all over. It's just all over. I need to take medicine, but I need to eat first. And yeah, so. I'm going to do Max's litter box first. All right, my mom said they, the propane people will be coming between today and November 6th. And I have two tanks. One is at 25 and one is at 50. So, I mean, if I run out of propane between now and then, I did just check the weather. Today, the high is only 48. Um... But, like, the other days, I think tomorrow's, like, in the 50s, and then it gets, there's about three or four days in the 60s. So, but it's just at night, pretty much, like, it's cold and right now, but it's really cold outside. I think it's only 30 right now outside. But if um, I run out of propane between now and then, I will just be taking showers at my mom's house. And we'll just be using the heater like we've been doing the last couple days, you know, or weeks. So, <sighs> it's, it's feeling so nice in here. It's crazy. Okay, I really need to do his litter box. Max, can I do your litter box? Is it okay if I do your little box? All right, you eat. I'm going to push this down. Good boy. You're such a sweetie. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I always put my food, my hand in their food every once in a while. Um, just so they learn not to be like aggressive. But this dude right here, I can put my hands in his food. And when I first got Max, um, Milo would be like eating on one of his bones. 
and Max will be like rubbing up against him and he didn't care but now he's getting like aggressive with his treats and stuff so Max well they do get treats I it's very rare occasion if they get a treat because I don't like that aggression and why should I give them something that they're gonna be aggressive you know a treat is a treat and if you're gonna be aggressive when you get a treat no more treats for you but they do get them every once in a while like birthdays and holidays <laughs> pretty much but yeah I used to give I have these bones for Milo and um, they're too small for my mom's dog, so I give it to him. I've been giving it to him like in the summer when he's outside and just hanging outside, because Max doesn't go outside. So I've been giving him a bone when he's outside, so they're nowhere near each other. But in this house, mm -mm. you guys, these things are amazing. They're the sifters, they come in tens. If you have a cat and you don't have like one of those self-cleaning ones, these are amazing. I do know they have, oh, I should not be touching my face. I'm touching litter. Um, they come like this airtight and then you just, I'll show you guys how they like work and stuff. But I know they have like the actual sifters that you can use. The only thing is, is I feel like, cause these are bags. So his poo doesn't stick to the litter box. And then also it's just, it's cleaner in my head because it's not sticking to that litter box. So it doesn't smell. Cause I remember when I first got him, I just put the cat litter in a litter box and it smelled really bad. And I feel like this helps it a lot. So it doesn't smell. Um, but I will show you guys how to do it. Let me set you guys down. Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe right here. Cool, okay. So we're gonna take this, I just need to open it. All right, so I have opened it. So now you just have to kind of peel it apart. And these are like huge. So this is as big as his litter box. So now what I do is I just one by one, like put it over the cat box. Right, and then this is what it looks like. So there's like little holes at the bottom of it. And then you just take one and you pick it up like when you're ready to change it out. And then you just pick it up. And it's so freaking easy. I love it so much. I will say the only thing is, so I put a lot of litter in his box, probably more than recommended, but he likes to dig and, um, Sometimes he puts a bigger hole in these holes. Like these holes are pretty big to be honest. Um, see here, oh look, yeah. So they're pretty big and sometimes he like makes them bigger. So sometimes the clumps like fall, which it's not as many and I still love them so much. They're $5 for 10, um, so I mean, it works. It works really well and I'm gonna keep using them. I am saving up though, for I'm going to start saving up for a um, self cleaner one because I will say I am a bad cat mom for doing this. I don't clean his litter box as much as I should, so. I feel like that self cat cleaner would help a lot. Um, he doesn't like use the bathroom anywhere else. I don't have plants, but um, I haven't had any problems. And there's still enough litter in it so where he can like dig and do his business. So I'm gonna, he is all up in that. This is the cat litter I use as well. This is the calor. Sorry if you can hear my heater. And look at all this stuff that came out. I'm guessing it came out of that heater, but look at all these mice poo. Anyway, so this is the cat litter that I use. Arm and Hammer, 
the clump and seal. I do it for multi-cat even though it's just a one cat house. Um, just because I feel like maybe it will help a lot, you know? I don't know. So I use this stuff. And then I also use, you guys, this is a lifesaver. I use this cat deodorizer. No, no Max, not yet baby, I'm sorry honey. I use this every time I clean and then if I feel like I start to smell his, like it starts to stink in here, I'll do more of that. I also bought this, which I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm just using it up and I won't rebuy this. Um, but it's just the fresh scent. But if I had to choose between these two, this one is my go-to. Like, it's the best thing ever. And I know some people just use um, baking soda, which is pretty much the same thing. But this, it has like a nice scent to it. And I, it just, I feel like it makes everything smell so much better. So, definitely recommend this. This one, not so much. Um, I just feel like I smell this one longer than this one. So, and if you guys know any other cat litter that you like, I've tried the Tidy Cats. I do not like it. I've also tried Family Dollar, like, brand of cat litter. It wasn't awful. I will say it was good. So, if you're in a pinch and you don't have, like, you can't spend that much on cat litter, that one, I would recommend that one. Um, at first, I thought I didn't like it, but then, like, it kind of grew on me. And it was, I think like 20 pounds for $10. So it was a really good deal. Um, but that one, and that one is expensive, I will say. Cat litter is just so expensive. And I know people are using like those pellets. The only thing is, is I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see his poop. So, and um, I don't know if those pellets would work in the self cleaner ones but I'm not even at that point yet because those are like $500 and I'm scared if it breaks because that's not just spendable money for me like that's a good chunk of money so right now this is our best option and it's honestly not that bad because I don't have to I've been scooping the last couple weeks because it ran out and I just, so every time it runs out, I'll replace his cat litter completely. So he gets fresh cat litter. And I just put cat litter in there when it ran out. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna hand scoop it. It wasn't awful, but I definitely don't wanna keep doing that. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna clean up these little mice. I'm gonna sweep, vacuum, and then I have to go to the trash um because i want i need to throw away the cat litter so that's like what i took out and then um i have so we don't have because we're in the middle of nowhere garbage people don't come to us our name i think i said this in another vlog but our neighbors got a dumpster and so all the neighbors just pitch in and they share it which it's nice but sometimes it's not that nice because it gets full really fast. So, um, I, from that Tidy Cats, the litter box, or the, where, where the litter came in, I just put the bags in there and I put it underneath the trailer and I can't smell it at all, so that's nice. So I just, I keep it in there so when it gets full, then I go and I dump it since I can't just throw it in the trash can, you know? Um, so I need to throw that away and then my trash is full and I usually will be doing this tomorrow, but you know, I just, I want to one, get it done. And then tomorrow I will be, um, going to get my oil changed. So, and I guess I can just do it in the morning. <sighs> now I don't know. But I'm going to finish his litter box because I think he wants to use it. <laughs> Every year, I love watching those Halloween Town movies from Disney Channel. I watched them growing up and they, I just think they're the cutest movies ever. Um, and hello, I only have today and tomorrow to watch it because then Halloween's over. 
I cannot believe I forgot to watch these this month. So, I have to binge watch all four of them because it's a tradition. And the fact I forgot, oh my gosh. What is your favorite tradition or like thing you like to do during Halloween? I would love to know. So I watched two of the Halloween Town movies. So I watched the first one and the second one. And then tomorrow, because it's the last day of October, I'm going to watch Halloween Town High and then Return to Halloween Town or something like that. I don't know. But this is the update on this jewel. Okay, so this is the update. I cannot figure out like I know I want the sides tucked in like this right but there's just too much fabric and I need to cut it somehow and I don't know how to cut it so I'm just letting them hang loose but I did cut this and I glued it and then I put um the chip clips right here so I'm gonna turn this off I put the chip clips right here to hold it um and then because I have another one of these blankets i'm just gonna put that inside and milo is like right here i don't know what he wants but there's a blanket over there and then when this shows i'm gonna put that inside take it off milo has been jumping on this so it's like okay sturdy for him to jump on and then max try to scratch at it so i hope he doesn't ruin this and then my little stool over here all i did was tuck in the other side of it i have not glued it or anything i what in there is like my workout stuff. So I don't really go in there. So I'm just going to tuck it for now and just leave it. And then I need to figure out the sides. I don't know how to cut it. I need to cut it. Um, but I don't know how. But this. So I need to like once it's done gluing. Then I'll cut the extra fabric off. So that's just the extra fabric hanging down. Um, but it might be. Oh hey. It's dry. I just hope I did enough glue, you know? So I'm going to cut that. And then I'm going to put that in there. And then we're just going to be done for now until I figure out the sides. You guys, I'm having so much anxiety right now. I, um... I don't like propane stuff. I hate it. I don't use my oven or my stove because it has pro... Like, you have to use propane. And it just scares me. Propane scares me so much. And so, in the winter, because my heater runs off propane, I just get so much anxiety. So, when I hear it come on, especially at night, like, I cannot sleep. And I turned on my heater this morning. So, this is my first night with my propane or my heater going. And it will come on because it's been getting so cold at night. I just know I'm not going to be able to sleep. I just... I'm ha oh my gosh, I'm just having so much anxiety. So I I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have an amazing night. Bye.